it, it's been my privilege and honor uh, to play a role in working with Mary Ann Turanian and with City Administrator John Morrissey and with Cindy Altergott and all of the partners uh, here at Kela to help uh, bring this project uh, to the finish line. I want to start today by saying it shouldn't be me standing here right now. <laughs> and uh, I think you all know who should be. If Kathy was here, she would say, we need to hear you. We're here today. We made it. So let's hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it took time, um, but we've got the right result. And so, um, and someone said, Tim said to me today, and now the fun begins. Um, now the fun begins. Now we get to bring Catherine's vision to life. You know, with a lot of the things happening in our neighborhood, Ken, Keela, a lot of the development and other investments, we are just so excited about what's going on in our own backyard. And when we heard about Catherine's vision and we heard about the goals of what this building was meant to be, we knew immediately it was something that we wanted to be a part of. And, you know, at Jockey, we think that all kids have greatness inside of them. And we just need to find opportunities and ways to bring that greatness out. And we think this building is such an opportunity to do that. It came to me, when I was asked to speak today, it came to me. This is the opportunity, this is the day that we start to show what those emerging leaders look like. Today is the day, opening day. And with that, I'm going to give it to one of Catherine's very first emerging leaders, Ryan Simone Walker. Incredibly, she touched every aspect of this building, from the name, to the branding, to the furniture, to the visual aspects. As we stand in awe, wondering how she may be able to give so much of herself, well, whenever she was asked, how are you, Catherine always replied, less than highly favored. So with that, we have to believe. While she is not here in person, that her spirit has blessed this entire building. Kenosha is going to become a hub of the economic power of the state of Wisconsin. Within 10 years, you're going to see more young people coming into our community. You're going to see more opportunities in this community. And you're going to see young people moving up and having opportunity to grow and prosper. That is what all of you have done. And I do mean everyone, because none of this happens by itself. So again, I want to thank everybody, and I want to welcome you to Kathy's house. Three. Oh!